Hi Gratitude Seeker and welcome to this special episode that I wanted to create for my birthday because I wanted to announce the new kind of episode that you will hear on the Gratitude Podcast and I also wanted to give you a gift and honestly I'm very excited about it because the idea for the gift came by thinking about you and thinking about what I can give you to enjoy a more abundant and grateful year. But before getting to the gift, I want to talk a little bit about the new kind of episode that uh, I want to create for you. And this also stemmed out of um, me thinking about you, my dear gratitude seeker, and how I can provide more value for you, how I can be more of service to you. And I was looking at my own behavior and I saw that I was more inclined to be open to the ideas or to interviews or content from well-known people. I guess in this way my brain wouldn't have to filter that much, wouldn't have to think whether or not the content that I'm about to listen to or watch is good. Knowing those people and trusting them made it more likely for me to be open to those ideas and to spend that time listening to those people. So the purpose of this kind of episode is to learn from the best, from those people that we admire and that inspire us, to explore their perspective on gratitude and see how we can implement it in our life as well. Basically what this means is that I'm going to do some research, find out what they had to say about gratitude, find the best ideas, the best advice, the most interesting and more most practical ideas that they share and explore them together on the podcast. When I say together, I mean you and me, thinking about how we can implement those ideas, what they actually mean, and finding the inspiration that we need to keep going, to keep seeking gratitude, to keep this positive habit in our life. Some of the people that are big believers in the power of gratitude whose ideas I would love to explore on the podcast are Anthony Robbins, Brene Brown, Denzel Washington, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Bob Proctor, Gary Vaynerchuk, Willie Nelson, Olivia Wilde, Rihanna, Elizabeth Gilbert, Ariana Huffington, Michelle Obama, Deepak Chopra, Meryl Streep, Louise Hay, Marie Forleo, Ellen DeGeneres, Eckhart Tolle, and many, many others. And what I would love to hear from you is who else do you know is a big believer in the power of gratitude? I'm not yet in the position of interviewing these people, but so many of their ideas on gratitude are out there. They just need to be put in one place and explored further. Because many times they just share something about gratitude shortly in a TV interview. But usually there's so much more to that, especially if you're passionate about the topic. So I hope that you're as excited as I am about this new kind of episode. It's a bit more work on my side, but I believe it will provide a lot of value for you and it will attract more people to gratitude. And for that, I will need your help sharing this episode, sending it to people that you know will find it useful. And now getting to the good part. 2020 was a hard year for many of us. And while some were more affected than others, everything that had happened impacted us one way or another. And I know that beyond the mental health aspects that we are talking about quite a lot here on the Gratitude Podcast, Many people were also impacted financially and unfortunately got to experience a feeling of lack. And from that feeling, it's hard for us to enjoy life and be grateful and see that even though things are hard, there's always abundance surrounding us. So whether you've been hit by this pandemic and you feel a sense of lack or you just want to enjoy this feeling of abundance even more, for my birthday, I want to give you the gift of abundance. Because, as you might know in your own experience, when you feel grateful, 
you want others to feel abundant as well, especially the people that you care about. So if you want to experience more abundance, go to georgianbenta.com slash free week and you'll access the first week of the How to Experience Abundance through Gratitude course for free. That's right, for free. I would love to see you this year living in gratitude and abundance. And this is my way of supporting you on this path. This first week focuses on getting you from lack, from feeling lack and seeing lack, which is the opposite of abundance, to feeling lucky. You'll get access to a video explaining the concept and another one explaining the exercise that you'll need to do for the next seven days. And it's really not something complicated that you will need to do. It's something simple, but it will shift your perspective so powerfully that you won't want to go back to how you saw things before. I'm so grateful that I got to to experience this perspective and I was so happy to put it together in the course because I really believe in small improvements in our life and working on those things that either way whether we do it consciously or not we will have to do them and when you're changing the perspective on such things the impact is huge and in this free week I will be talking about our perspective when we pay for things when we give money to other people or businesses You'll find out how you can bring gratitude there. And if you'll do the exercises and put this into practice, you'll get to experience a whole new way of looking at the world. And you'll certainly go from feeling the lack to feeling lucky. You'll get access to a document that you can either print or fill in on your computer so that it's easy for you to actually do the exercise. Also, Once you will get the free week, you'll find another surprise there. One that I was finally able to put together for you that's based on the positive impact that I have received working with groups and guiding them to a fulfilling experience of gratitude. So tap on the link in the description or go to georgianbenta.com slash free week and join me on this journey of gratitude and abundance.